In this lecture, we're going to learn about address management and scheduling the jobs manually. Imagine there are donors which tells you that during summer, they reside in a particular address as compared to winter. To tackle these address changes for a donor or a contact record, Nonprofit Cloud has something known as address management. Now let's jump into Nonprofit Cloud to see how this has to be achieved. If I navigate to any of the accounts, for example, if I go to Singh Household, Nonprofit Cloud has provided a custom object by name addresses. If I look into this addresses, it is going to tell me that I have got one record in my address object and this is the default address. Now let's go back to Singh Household, open any one of the contacts suppose Ram Singh and Ram Singh gives you a call and say that look my mailing address has changed as and as a non-profit admin you will go to Ram Singh address and you will hit edit and you will change the address over here take for example instead of B15F it is E9N and you will hit save. As soon as you hit save, now if I go back to the Singh household account record, one more address has been created and that has been marked as a default address. If you remember previously, there was only one address over here, but now I have one more address which has been marked as default. Now it may happen that the contact again calls you back and say look this address is valid from a particular date till three months so you can go ahead and edit the end date over here you can specify this is valid only till 31st now Salesforce will run nightly patch and on 1st of April it is not going to use this particular address because the end date is 31st of March. Another way could be that it could be a seasonal thing where the donor would say that at the start of month of May from 5th May till 22nd May he is going to be at this particular address. So this way Depending upon the address requirement, you can go ahead and set it up using the address object. Just to reiterate, uh, we can make use of address object to create different addresses. Whenever a particular address is updated, at that moment of time, the new address record also gets created in the address object. Now the next thing that I want to discuss is schedule jobs. So there are many schedule jobs which are run by nonprofit cloud every night. For example, if you want to roll up soft credits from a donor to an account level, then a nightly job will run. Now, in case you do not want to wait, then you can very well go ahead and manually kick off that job. To do that, you'll go to setup. You'll search for schedule. schedule jobs over here all these jobs are scheduled to run at 9 p.m. and if you don't want to wait till 9 p.m. what you could do you can delete a particular job for example data import batch processing you can delete this job once this is deleted you will go to setup you will search for apex then classes you'll say schedule apex here you will give that name of the job and you'll see which particular class so it would be the data import over here and you want to run it at which particular date and time you 
you can just specify I want to run it immediately I want to run it this particular time and this way now you are able to manually schedule the jobs so we have learned how address management is being taken care by nonprofit cloud and also how a job can be run manually 